Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again. Welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again. That's how you do it. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's coming in quite big. Yes, because we get the nicest fish. Ooh, ooh, ooh. My favourite. They're awful small. <laughs> Sometimes we have the nicest fish. <laughs> <laughs> so I've not turned the microphone on yet. Oh no, I have actually. <laughs> I mean, poop. So we've just had a massive shipment in. Talk me through your process of how you prep for it, what you do when the fish arrive, other than just breaking down boxes and frantically throwing things in tanks. It must be more thought yeah, put into so it than that. On the outskirts, it looks very kind of laxy daisy, heavy handed. Um, but it's something we do kind of at least twice a week, every week. Yeah. Um, fish aren't as delicate as people make out to be anyway. But with the stock and the orders, we prep a couple of days before, think what's going where, what we've got space for, we move fish around that don't need to be in their tanks, so we've got full single tanks for new stock. Yeah. Um, any of the more delicate stuff has its own system prepped, so one of these bays will be cleared out, so all delicate fish go to that one. So each of delicate. these bays runs off its own Yes, yes on its, it's own, its own its sum. Own. It's not one thing, yeah. it's all its own sum. And the bays have themes as well. So cichlids tend to go. Yeah, uh, cichlid and South American cichlids go. Bigger on. stuff. And then it gets more community based. And, and then catfish. And then it goes more community based the further you get them. So just to make sure you can ready to destroy boxes, get fish in, it's yeah. really the couple of days beforehand couple prepping days of what before lives where. Moving fish. Yeah. Where you're you going to put it. Pushing sales on fish that we need tank. We need that tank. We do a lot of as well. Right. So okay. you need to free up a tank for... For example, that I fished in yesterday, but I pushed this out to get the fish out so we can put the discus in there. Yes. Happy days. So the Happy discus days. get a nice big tank with some Denisoni barbs to make them a little bit more comfortable. Super delicate stuff. We have other tanks dotted around that have their own little dedicated system. So, so the, the more delicate stuff goes into individual tanks so it's not mixing with anything else, basically. And that's what... A wild Courtney. Courtney strolling around the corner. Got his steam up. <laughs> That's why these systems are also isolated and not on sumps. This side is all isolated as well and not on sumps. We only have those on sumps. Everything else is isolated in case we need them. Yeah. So this is the slightly more irresponsible stuff. So again, this is system. These are all on individual tanks. Yeah, um, sponge filters. Sponge filter. Everyone loves a sponge filter. Yeah, and sponge I don't know if you can see it, but there's some silly things in here. But we'll, we'll have a look at them in a minute. Yeah, so like we've got the, they've got the barracudas the stingray, the new tarpon, because why not, um, peacock snakeheads, some crayfish, all the stuff that is just being silly. And then it goes to the pond. So we've got the themed rack on this side, we've got 
more individual silly stuff on this side. Uh, yeah, so this is where we'd usually keep uh, baiters, inverts, and some of the temperate fish. Um, these little tanks that we've got here are usually good for baiters, but when the weather picks up a little bit, it's a bit warmer in here. Um, and the rest of it is temperate, subtropical, so there's usually a good selection of uh, subtropical and temperate tetras, barbs, uh, stuff like that, and fancy goldfish. And some killifish. Yes. Some fun killifish. Some really, I'll, I'll take you around and show you these, and you might cut these clips in, but there are some interesting we will start little these. species. Yes, those are uh, the Guinthari Nothabrancus are beautiful. Well, Nothabrancus Guinthari. Do it the right way around. I don't know what you say. They don't really have a common name as far as I know. These ones? No. These ones? Yeah. The beautiful, beautiful purple and yellow and blue dudes. Are these the annual ones? Yes. They only live for about two years, I suppose. Uh, it's one of those good killifish where you can dry the eggs off and sell them as well. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's the ones. I'm always tempted to do a video on that because I've never seen anyone successfully oh, really, do it. Really, it's really fun. I've done it a couple of times. It's really, really easy to do. Um, so a lot of times you can just get you, you've got a lot of moss. Yeah. And you can get like little cups with suction cups on them that you can stick under the glass, stick under the water. Right. Like a little plant thing. Yeah. Put the moss inside there and then the eggs are always dedicated in that one spot rather than having them scattered all over a tank in moss. I don't know what they're called, it's, it's just that little glass bowl thing. But you can put it in a little terracotta pot if the moss is going to stay there. Yeah, I know, I know the things, they're little, little planters, aren't they? Yeah, put the moss inside them, or peat, so you know like coca brick and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. You can use that as well, you can put that inside there and they just go absolutely mental in it. And then you just take it out and dry the eggs off. Uh, some lovely Buenos Aires Tetras at the bottom. They are nice to them as well, yes. The most horrible Tetra I've ever dealt with in my life. These ones? Yep, so everyone can come by them. <laughs> They're just unnecessarily aggressive. I don't normally do this. But uh, I'm, gonna, mm -hmm. I'm gonna release the water into the tank. Because it's my tank and there's nothing else in it. So this is Callum's little fish, little tank of fish he wants to grow. Yes. Specifically. And he's got a little project. A little trio. Uh, what are were advertised as for Hagrid fish? I think they are. They are. They are. They're very small for Hagger Puffer fish. This was the size, I don't know if anyone's ever seen Fred. I can send you a of Fred. He's yeah. now huge. This is the size I got him. Is it? From here. Yeah. But yeah, they're all tank bred. Which is a fairly a new thing, I think. There he is. <laughs> For the moment, they just look like peepers. They do just look like big peeper fish, you're right. Yeah, they are tiny. I don't know how tiny they come across on camera. But... So there we go, that was my day at Fishman Aquatics. I'd like to say a big thank you to Reese, Callum and Courtney. Uh, I took my kids along, or a couple of my kids along. We had a great day out. The kids love playing around in the shop, in the sand pit or aquascaping display, uh, and playing with Apollo, the rabbit. So they had fun. Um, it's definitely worth a trip. If you can make the trip, I would go along, have a look for yourself. They've got some really interesting stuff and some really normal stuff as well. So something for everyone. I managed to bag a few goodies as well, so I have filled up some tanks now. I've got a rack here which has got a load of stuff. If you want to see more about these fish, click that subscribe button, as everyone always asks you to do. Um, but for now, the really special killifish, the annual killifish, I picked up a pair of them. I won't try and butcher the name for them, um, 
but they are quite special, especially the male. Really, really colourful, really deep purples and greens and reds. We've got a fantastic little bata fish. Uh, my daughter picked that one up. It was a bit of an impulse buy, this one. So we're going to set up a tank for my daughter in her bedroom. She wanted this one. I think it's going to be called either Snowflake or Snowball, possibly Olaf. Got a whole bunch of stairby corridors in there. I bought up every single one that came into the shop. We've got a whole bunch of Congo tetras down here. Bought up every single one of them that came into the shop. The Congos, a lot of the fish, one of the things I noticed was a lot of the fish came in a really good size. Often when you go to your local fish shop, you'll see really tiny specimens that are either really young or just really small. Most things seemed a really good size. So these Congos, they just looked awesome. In the bag, they looked awesome out of the bag after settling in only for a few hours they look even more awesome and the one I'm most excited about is I've got a pair of snake heads um, difficult to show you at the moment because they're very skittish at the moment I'm trying to keep the tank lights dark I've got a couple of extra lids on there to diffuse the light a bit more I've put in some bits of wood and stuff on to hide just to get them a bit more comfortable um, but they're doing that, they're hiding and they're, and they're staying out of the way so it's difficult to get shots of them but we'll have more of them in the future. These are the dwarf snake heads, the chana, I always want to say gaucha but that, that's the wrong, gachua um, or peacock snake heads I think sometimes they're called. Um, they are dwarf snake heads but they, even dwarf snake heads they'll get a good 10 to 12 inches so they're in a temporary tank at the moment in here, uh, tight lid or several lids to stop them jumping. Uh, but I've really, really been wanting snakeheads for so long, so I'm super glad to have got them for now. So really excited to have at least got a few tanks started in the fish room. Um, they're not all going to stay here, these are just the tanks that I had running and ready and set up. So we'll be moving things around in the coming days and weeks. But for now, more fish, more joy! Yay! A big thank you to Fishman Aquatics, a big thank you to you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, give me a subscribe, give me a like, go and watch another video, click all the clickable things, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!